Infants of the Spring, authored by Wallace Thurman, originally published in 1932, is a satirical novel that takes a critical look at the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s and the individuals who defined that era. Thurman's disillusionment with both the time period and certain African-American elites is evident throughout the narrative, leading many scholars to categorize the novel as a Romana clef, where the author thinly veils his own experiences and perspectives in a fictional setting. Rather than presenting a tightly woven plot, the novel unfolds as a stream-of-consciousness manifesto, expressing Thurman's viewpoint on African-American culture in 1920s Harlem. The story revolves around the inhabitants of a bohemian household, with Raymond Taylor, a writer and arguably the most talented resident, at its center. The narrative introduces a pivotal moment when Raymond's white friend, Sam Carter, brings another white man named Stephen Jorgensen to visit. Despite Sam's outward dedication to social justice and black activism, his deep-seated racism becomes apparent, revealing him as an ineffectual figure with little accomplishment in life. As the plot develops, Stephen and Raymond discover a shared kinship, leading to an invitation for Stephen to stay at Raymond's place. The other characters in the household, such as the artist Paul Arbian, the aspiring singer Eustace Savoy, and the servant Pelham Gaylord, contribute to the chaotic dynamics of the dwelling. Euphoria Blake, the ironically named landlady, aims to nurture emerging artists, but is confronted with constant partying rather than artistic dedication among her tenants. The narrative takes a darker turn as relationships become entangled, accusations arise, and the characters face personal crises. Ultimately, the story concludes with Paul contemplating suicide as a means of preserving his legacy. However, the final act is thwarted by a bathtub overflow, symbolically erasing his last artistic creation. Infants of the Spring draws inspiration from real figures of the Harlem Renaissance, with Raymond serving as Thurman's alter ego. The characters in the novel, albeit thinly disguised, represent individuals such as Langston Hughes, Zora Neale Hurston, and Alain Locke, offering a satirical reflection on the cultural and social milieu of the time. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.